What's an insult that sounds like a compliment? I love what you're trying to do with your hair, this one made me laugh. I was doing a timed work skills test a month into a new job and it took me forever so he let me do it again. It took just as long the second time and he said, well, at least you're consistent. Good for you. Shall I say this to everyone? Good for you. My grandma used to tell us that if you ever met an ugly baby you should said wow that is some baby. Here's a picture of my baby. Isn't he cute? Oh. But you look at him? My favorite is. Or oh, he looks just like you. Breathtaking. You gotta see the bar baby. My grandma always says people are good and kind when they get on her nerves. They think she's a sweet old lady. When she's really saying they are good for nothing and kinda stupid. I got it engraved on a mug for her. This thread has taught me that grandmas talk a lot of this is too good. I'm stealing your idea and having this same mug made for the day I return to the office. That outfit is really brave. I love how you'll just wear anything. I've had that said to me. Just tell me I look like shpi I don't know fashion I need help. My southern grandmother used to say I could never be brave enough to wear that but look at you. Grandmas are ultimate shady ladies. I'm a fine naked, woman. You're so cute and silly. Important comma there. So, this is a Wendy's. Or, I'd never wear something that bold. I could never wear something like that. But it's so you. You are uninteresting. You're at the top of the bell curve. Keep trying. One day you'll make it to the top of the bell curve. Can someone alive 5? I'm assuming this has to do with a normal distribution so wouldn't this just be calling someone average? Exactly. It sounds like you're telling them they are at the top of the distribution. When in fact you are saying there is nothing special about you. You are perfectly average. Amongst a sea of unnoteworthiness. Yes. The idea being you'd use it in a context where someone is way too proud of themselves. Most of them are backhanded compliments. But this is a flat out insult whose mood and words seem complimentary. It's ingenious. Top of the hierarchy. Top of the world. Top tier. Top of the bell curve. This is the only one I'm actually saving for later. Whether this is an insult really depends on the person. It's made for pretentious people who think they're at the right end of the slope. Or are but also constantly mention it. Another odd thing is you're at the bottom of the slope which either means you're exceptionally stupid or exceptionally smart. XD. Also what the heck I went from 70 to 4000 karma overnight. None of it coming from a post I actually worked hard on. This one is a phenomenal burn. You're much smarter than you look. Some a told me that once. I just said. And you're dumber than you look. That was the day I learned blondes are stereotype to be stupid. I was about to say I get this all the time and think it's because I'm blonde. Then I finished your sentence and was like, oh, okay, same. I hope you responded with one of the many differences between you and me. This is something you think of in the shower 6 hours after the fact. Wow. My grandma would love that outfit. I would actually enjoy being told this. I don't care what everybody else says. I think you're pretty cool. Used to have this regular come in and they'd often say I don't care what the bathroom wall says about you. You're alright. I'm stealing this next time I go to bar. So like in the 30s I guess. My ex used to tell me that all the time. Took me a while to figure out he was trying to isolate me from others. How would you say that in a non-joking way? I can't imagine saying this without a really stupid smile on. <laughs> to my friend. You have cooler friends than I do. I always tell my girlfriend I have better taste than her because I'm dating her while she's dating me. What a chump. That's a compliment that sounds like an insult. But Carl, I'm your only friend. You look healthy where I'm from. The nice way of saying someone has gotten fat. Ha. Huh. I got you looking strong from a middle-aged woman. You know what that means. Yeah, she wants the D. Whereas in China. They don't beat around the bush when it comes to weight. You got fat is exactly what someone's parents or grandparents would say after returning home from abroad. I teach ESL to adults. One really sweet Chinese student. I think he was on the spectrum. FWIW. Once told me, teacher, you look less fat than before. As a compliment. I calmly explained that I wasn't upset with him. But he probably shouldn't say that to people. Because it may upset them. But I say less fat, teacher. No, I get it buddy. But just it's a good idea not to use fat. Even if you want to compliment someone. You know what? 
it's really best to just say nothing about people's sizes at all, ever, especially with women why, it's cultural, it makes us upset, if you want to be nice, you can say you look nice today, just don't mention their body, make sense? It did not, but he enthusiastically assured me he would no longer comment on others' bodies in English. That's nice, dear. You're so confident. This has got to be a kick to the nuts. Said in the right tone that must suck. Cause you know homeboy built up quite some courage to rock those assless chaps and now Aunt Karen just drop that bomb on you at the family Christmas party. Especially if you post a picture in a swimsuit and people comment on you bravery and confidence. Your sister is beautiful and you are smart. I've heard this a lot in my life and I'm not even that smart. Relatable. I'm the ugly sister. But I'm apparently so smart as though my beautiful sister isn't smart as f. She's cute and smart and I love her. Does it have to be a competition? It would be even worse the other way around. At least you tried your best. This one is fine if you're telling it to a kid. But much more condescending to an adult. Especially if you're the one that just beat them. Friends and I do this thing where you add the word actually to an otherwise normal compliment in order to make it backhanded. E. G. Hey you're actually pretty smart. That's actually pretty funny. Hey now. With all due respect, when it's clear none is due. With all due respect, say you're a worthless effing piece of shit and your dad should have effed your mom and the A the night you were conceived with all due respect. I feel fairly respected and criticized in equal amounts. Thank you. Always. Your dick is so cute. Had a girl say you weren't lying about how big your dick is. I had said perfectly average. Thanks, mother. My girlfriend says stuff like this all the time. I'm not especially worried about the size of my weenie but nothing gives you pause quite like a ww look at her cute little penis. I once told someone he had a pretty penis and I meant it as a genuine compliment but it was not interpreted as such. You have to use words like brutish or energized or power burst. Basically if it's not the name of monster energy drink flavor or men's axe shampoo scent. Don't use the word. You are impossible to underestimate. Another similar one. Don't worry. My opinion of you hasn't dropped a bit. Dead shit you can't possibly be this stupid. Deadpool don't underestimate me. One of the guys I was dating told me you share your emotions and feelings quite often. I took it as I probably talk too much about things and shouldn't. But he told me that no it's a good thing and it helps. Still made me think twice the next time I wanted to share things. Gotta preface it with a I love that. That makes me feel like you need to tack a bit to the end. Wow. You're so brave or I wish I had your confidence said completely deadpan. Add an exclamation point and the vibe can be changed. You're pretty for a big girl. Classic chubby girl insult. But you have such a pretty face. Such a great personality. And really fantastic hair. Pretty much any year for a pretty fly for a white guy. I've heard you look good despite your skin tone used a few times. By people with a not very different skin tone. Lol. Whenever my friends are told you're pretty for a black Samoan girl. If I wasn't 4 minutes and 10 seconds. I'd punch those douches for them. While waiting tables. An old woman told my co-worker that he's handsome for a Mexican. B.I.T. he's just handsome. I've gotten you are pretty for a black girl and you speak so well. Sorta in the same boat. People have told me that I speak white. The freak. You don't sweat much for a fat lass. In China. Gym trainer comes to me in broken English. GT. Here. Take hands me a flyer. Me. Keeps walking. GT. For you. Me. Walks faster. GT. You're fat. I can make you beautiful. Me. Stops. Turns. Speaks in Mandarin are you saying I'm not beautiful? GT. Looks terrified and tries to run away. Tries what did you do? And I'm thinking you weren't burdened with an overabundance of schooling. Malcolm Reynolds. My days of not taking you seriously are certainly coming to the middle. The captain is a legend in this realm. Yeah you could probably just put half the dude's lines into this thread mayo. Absolute legend. The classic. I hope your day is as pleasant as you are. This is coming from a retail worker to a full Karen. Or, I hope you have the day you deserve. I went to my friend's wedding reception and inadvertently toasted I hope the two of you get all the happiness you deserve. I realized my horrendous mistake as soon as my hit the chair. I love this as a rolled to me witchy curse. B. 
because it can also be a gift since the bearer can turn their day around by not being in a hole. In the words of the late Reverend Spooner, you are a shining wit, it's the most British insult I know. For the uninitiated, a spoonerism is where you swap the starting sounds of two words, so shining wit becomes, Cupid stunt, I mean GTA V had an entire expansion called Cunning Stunts. This book fills a much needed void, my favorite review of Abraham Lincoln, Vampire Slayer Reed, the best movie I have ever seen on the subject. You've got a face for radio, and a voice for print, and the athletic physique for chess, and a cock for braille porn. My wife once said I just love your cute little way of living with total sincerity. Out of all the people I've met, you are definitely one of them. See you later, not if I see you first. I always thought it was just a cheesy response, but no the implication is that if you see the other person, you bail before they see you. Wow, that phrase is so commonly used I never really thought about it that way. Mind. Blown. Lol. I always thought it was a threat. I glare when I say it. Told my mom that one as a joke yesterday. She had to think about if before getting it equals D. I don't know what it says about me that it took me 25 years to get that. I think that moment was the first time my face ever went into sudden clarity JPG mode. I always thought it was just a cheesy response. But no the implication is that if you see the other person, you bail before they see you. I think people use this in both ways. The clever way you explained I don't think is the way most people intend it. You always look so comfortable. Good for you. Said with the right amount of enthusiasm has very entertaining results as you watch their face change in realization after saying thanks. He tries. It's understanding that makes it possible for people like us to tolerate a person like yourself. Abe Froman. I bet you spent a lot of time thinking that one through. Implying whatever was said or done was of poor quality and bringing into question their intelligence as it took a while to think up a poor plan. You have a unique face. Well, I enjoyed this conversation. It was very nice. It was like talking to the sweet, old lady on the bus, Michael Scott chair model episode. I admire you. You don't let your confidence get in the way of your shortcomings. You talk so eloquently you speak so well towards a black person as if we all talk like we're from the depths of the hood. I once called on you before my brother and I called the driver to tell him where to pick him up. We live in South Africa and the driver was white so when my brother gets home he told me the driver asked if he was adopted. It turns out the driver who was white thought that I was white based on my voice so that meant my brother had to be adopted. It was funny NGL. Asian people get something like this. Two. Oh. Your English is so good. Thanks. I was born in California. English is my primary language spoken at home and at school. At least wait for someone to explain when they got to this country before trying to make remarks like that. One of my friends, who is black, has been repeatedly told that they are articulate in a surprised tone of voice because they are shocked that a black man doing his PhD at Cambridge might use academic language. Yes yes yes. I'm part aboriginal and I always get you don't look or act aboriginal, as a surprised complimentary reaction when I tell people, WTF, how am I supposed to react to that? May your life be as interesting as the repost you did, OP felt that. If you are in the south, bless your heart, not always, if you've had a terrible day and tell them why they sometimes say that and not in a demeaning way, it's all in the tone and context. Spend enough time down south and you pick up real quick. You are the funniest person you know. I like to use that on strangers who are sarcastic to me. They usually come back with yup and a sheeting grin. I must go now. Talking with you has been mostly enjoyable. I just can't think of enough good things to say about Karen. You look good today. I don't know half of you half as well as I should like. And I like less than half of you half as well as you deserve. He's saying that he would like to know some of them better, and less than half of them deserve to be liked twice as much as he likes them. It's a compliment that sounds like an insult, not vice versa. Yeah, this is just a straight up compliment. In the movie it leaves people confused while he disappears, I think. Oh Bilbo, he could sass with the best. Yeah, he really was Lord of the Zings.